Welcome back to the channel where the art is always random and so am I. Today I'm doing a first impressions video of Death Note before I do a complete video review. Because I always thought about it like this, well just random brainstorming idea. Uh, what if I just give you a review before I actually finish the show? Maybe that way you could watch it and catch up on it and you know let me know what you think when I do the actual review. So today I am so sad, I am crying, I am depressed that I was given off of work because of the snow. It is a huge snowstorm. There's probably like eight, nine, ten inches outside of snow right now, and I am so sad that they canceled work. I love my job more than everybody else. And now that you believe that, let's go talk about the notes of death, the death of notes, the book of death and life, and death note. Anime first aired October 2006 and finished on June 2007. That's probably around 35 to 45 episodes, considering most animes week early, a weekly episode. Or sometimes like a random holiday they cancel that but for the most part it's like one a week so let's just say it was around 40 episodes I don't know I'm too lazy to google that anyways if you're not a big fan of anime that's basically nothing that's like a super short story or small arc in an anime that's incredibly short that is nothing just for like a reference I watched probably like over 900 950 whatever episodes they're out of one piece because they're really far ahead I can't believe I watched all of them and then there's Dragon Ball Z, there's Dragon Ball, there's Dragon Ball Super, there's Dragon Ball GT, there's Dragon Ball Movies. That's probably combined over a few thousand episodes, and I watched all of them. And I can't believe that, and Naruto, 500 episodes probably all together, because I don't watch filler. If not, it would have been like 20,000 episodes. So yeah, for me, these whatever episodes was nothing. It was like a quick couple of weeks, because I don't have much time. But when I do make time, I try to watch a few episodes of Death Note or whatever I'm watching at the time. So, Death Note. Before we get started, it's a book about, well, death, and notes and death, and notes of books, and books of notes, which gives the user the power to kill anyone whose name is written in the book. As long as he knows the face and they, and well, the name, they will die of the specified reason written in the book. If no specific reason is given in the book, a heart attack will be the cause. Late Yagami is a super brilliant high school senior who happens to find it. His dad's a police chief which adds to the drama and you know gives a little bit more extra spice and a little bit more drama. So basically it's like this. Late Yagami is using the book of powers to try to become of God and death and order. So I'm like 15 episodes into Death Note right now. I love the series. I remember being in elementary school like way like 100 years ago back in the past. And my friend gave me a Shonen Jump book that had Death Note, Dragon Ball Z, Yu-Gi-Oh, maybe I think Hunter x Hunter and a few other series. The only thing I ever watched, well the only thing I ever read, was Dragon Ball Z and Yu-Gi-Oh because those were my only interests back at the time. And a Shonen Jump book is basically a, a book with one chapter of different manga compilations of that week. So that's what they use in Japan. They basically release a book every single week. And it's like a magazine for them, basically, or a newspaper, call it that, of anime. And it's really thick, and it's pretty cool. So anyways, I tried watching it again a few years ago, but that's back when I was younger. I didn't know much, and yeah, I really got bored of it, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go watch fighting some animes, and some Dragon Ball Zs, and some Gokus fighting some Narutos, and call it a day. So, I don't know why, but uh, recently I was like, you know what? I think Death Note would be good for me to watch right now, because it's... One of the ones I always wanted to catch up on. I always wanted to finish Full Metal Alchemist, the original version, because I watched the second one, and so on. So, uh, anyways, this is basically a super suspenseful anime where you are left wondering what happens next. Will he win? Will he get caught? Well, he turns around and swerves all over the place, and it just hits you in the face, and you're like, wow, I didn't expect that coming. So, it's basically like a detective versus a criminal, and then they, whatever, I don't want to ruin it for you, but that's basically what it is. It's like, someone's looking after the killer, which happens to be Light, and yeah, it goes from there. I just love when Light wins and gives you a smirk knowing his plan is going so well. And then he gets super mad when it's not. So yeah, just watch out for that. Ryuk is a super cool character. Ryuk is a Shimigami, which is basically a Grim Reaper. The guy whose book is in control of right now by Light and so on. So um, yeah, not much else to say. The show is amazing. I recommend you watch it ASAP because it's worth it. Netflix is a, so far, well, it's on Netflix. The show is so far like a 9.3 Kanye's out of 10 so far. 
And before you go, do not, do not watch the movie. Yes, the movie is short. It's like two hours, but do not watch it. It is horrible. It is a pain. And it is nothing like the original anime. Just basically, they use the characters and stuff like that and just make it seem like, well, my God, it's, it's a Death Note movie. But just remember, Avatar, the last Airbender movie was horrible. You never want to watch that. Or Dragon Ball Evolutions, to give you an example. So... Before I go, like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. I'm out.